Hey guys, it's Adrian here. How is everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I'm glad to have you. Today, we are going to be doing a September thrifted favorites video. So this is going to be all of my favorite items that I thrifted this month. And a lot of them I have actually already sent to my family in the Philippines so I don't have them with me so I'm not going to mention them in this video but if you guys are interested in seeing them I'll have um I'll have a link to the my thrift haul and thrifting video favorites or thrifting thrift hauls and thrift videos up here I have playlists with all of my different videos in them I probably have almost 50 of each type of hauls and of um Goodwill hunting videos, so check them out if you guys haven't seen um, past videos, check them out. They're, I found some really, really good stuff like when I first started this channel, and I'm like, oh, I love them. Alright, so I'm, gonna, I'm like already like looking at this stuff and I'm like, ah, oh, it's so cute. Alright, so the first item that I'm going to show you, I think I found this month, I don't really remember, I really should write this down, but are they are these Birkenstocks. These Birkenstocks are so cute, they're brand new, they are size, what size are these, size 10? And a half. Yeah. Anyway, they're like literally brand new. I got them for 30 bucks, which is not that bad, especially because they're brand new. So I was I was okay with paying a little bit more for them. So super excited. Um, I still actually haven't even worn them. I don't know why. I'm thinking I'm gonna wear them like tomorrow. But these, I'm so excited to find these. And yeah, these are going in my personal collection. So super excited for that. Gonna throw those down there. And then. Another one of my favorite items that I thrifted is this lovely Pottery Barn jar. Now this jar, there's actually, I, I actually used to work at Pottery Barn and we actually had these jars when I was working there and I, they might actually still have them because they've had these for a while. It's like um, a really popular design and I got this for the low, low price of $5.99 and even though it didn't have the lid on it anymore this is still perfect because you can use this as a vase or just like as a decorative object but definitely a vase with this would be so pretty with some wildflowers in it like can you imagine it's like so like Provence or something right like it's so cute and for $5.99 you really can't go wrong um they did mark it really like they marked it with a sharpie which is really annoying but I think it's just a little rubbing alcohol we'll get that right out or some acetone but yeah Pottery Barn awesome you can't go wrong Pottery Barn is such good quality stuff and then the next thing that I found is this members only jacket now this jacket was so awesome it's like literally brand new and I got this for I believe $9.99 at the Goodwill this is just so awesome so I'm so excited the color is really nice and I love like a good light jacket I don't really like heavy jackets especially here in California I never really get too cold I need like a really really thick jacket like like once in a blue moon that'll happen but normally I'm just like I'm so hot so yeah the, the next thing that I found is actually I don't even think I posted the video for this yet but you guys are going to see it here first, I guess, and then you can see the video from when I found it. But it is this Nike jacket, and I believe this is the Nike Kobe, um, the Nike Kobe, um, like, Nike was working with Kobe, and he did, like, a line of clothing, and this is one of the pieces. And this is a, um, a no battle uh elevate thing i forgot what it's like the actual like official name of it is but this jacket is just so cool it's like a letterman's jacket and it's black with like the leather arms and has leather details for the pockets and the zipper and then it has that 24 i think is that his number i don't know anything about sports i'm so sorry i'm just like don't know anything <laughs> like you guys are lucky that i know kobe that he plays like I don't, I don't even think he plays anymore. I think he might be retired already, but he played on the Lakers. He was in the Olympics a bunch of times for basketball. Awesome. He's like one of the best basketball players ever or something. So this jacket is super cool and it still is brand new and still has the Nike tags and everything. So this was super exciting to find. So I'll set that down there. Then another really cool find, uh, find that I found was this. This is the 50th anniversary of the Chargers um, NFL, I guess like when they won. Did they win? Uh, they probably did. They sound really awesome. 
This is <laughs> now this is just like a really cool like jacket and it's like embroidered to death. It has all these amazing details all around the front, on the sleeves, and on the back. And it's just like in a really great color and it's an X it's a triple XL. So this is really awesome. And I'm actually going to have this up to sell on my store if you guys are interested. Um, I'll have the link to my website down below. But um, I'll also probably put it up online to announce when um, I have it up on my Instagram. So follow me at It's Hadrian or Thrift Concierge. And you guys can, um, I'll have like, I'll post video or pictures of items that I have for sale. And if I see stuff while I'm thrifting that I normally wouldn't buy, but if you guys are interested, I'll get it for you and just ship it out to you. And just, like, you just have to pay for shipping and then a finder's fee. Um, I'll, I'm doing that as well on the Thrift Concierge. So add me on Instagram, don't forget. And that's that item. Now the next item that I found is... This is really cool. It's a Mickey Mouse denim jacket. So, 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 so cute. It's like, I cannot get over like how awesome this, like the stitching is on this. Like it's really, really awesome. It's vintage and it's really good condition still. And this I believe is a large, yeah, this is large. This is also going to go up as well. Oh, I'm going to lose battery. Let me change it. All right, so I, <laughs> I was able to change the battery. All right, so the next um, item that I found, and I'm kind of zoomed out a little bit, aren't I? The next um, item that I found is are, the, are these Cartier pants. These are so cool. Like, I just got them because I found these at the Goodwill outlet, and I never thought that. Like, I didn't even know Cartier made pants, but I guess they do. Um, they're like really vintage because they're really, really baggy. Like, look at that. But I don't know. I think I might make them into some cool shorts or something. I don't know. But I just had to buy it because. Cartier. I don't know. If anyone wants them, let me know, like, as is. Otherwise, I'm gonna make them into some cool shorts or something. They're a size 36. So, super excited for that find. And then, next item is this free people. It's like a lace, um, sweater. Not lace, crocheted. A crochet sweater. Now, this, um, was at the Goodwill, too. So cute. I don't know why I'm showing you the bag. It's like practically see-through and you can just see through the whole thing. But that was an awesome, awesome find. And then, um, I found these Y3 shoes, which I'm super duper excited about. These are like Yoji, Yamamoto, Adidas, um, when, like, they partnered together. These were a little bit expensive. They're $60, but I think they're totally worth it. They're practically not used. Like, the there's a little bit of yellowing on the white parts and... It ha they have been like worn like a, maybe like a couple times, like a handful of times. They're a little dirty on the bottom, but not even really that bad. Like if I clean them off, they'll look brand new. And these are just like some awesome shoes. I'm super glad that I found them because I've been wanting some Y3s for quite some time. So I'm super excited that I was able to find these. And then the next item that I have are another pair of shoes. And these are actually um, some Uggs. Now these are the um, knit Uggs really great they're a little bit used not horrible but they're used but they were only like $13 so had to get them um, I'm also gonna do a video for how to like refurbish or like fix them up because like they these tend to pill and like they accumulate like they make those little like fur balls on there so I'll show you guys how to get rid of that it's really easy then the next item is this Miss 60 dress really cute? I'm like putting it on. I think I did that in the video where I showed this, but this is really cool too. I'm gonna have this up as well. Size 8, really pretty. It's like a black, it's a navy and white with like a floral embroidered pattern on there. Really nice. Then the next item are these. This is um, this is an American apparel jacket this is so cool uh size medium obsessed this was like ten dollars at the thrift then i was like super like excited to find this this is a brand new j crew sweater in like a size medium still has a tag on it and everything and it's in this nice like green color 
so nice. Like, never worn. And, like, perfect condition. Like, who would give this away? Like, these would have this at the store right now. Like, they always have, like, this particular color. And, like, yeah, it's, like, a slim fit, too, which is really nice. So, it has, like, a nice modern fit. Then, um, on to everyone's favorite kind of items. I have here for you guys are the handbags that I found for the month. What happened to my hair? I'm so sorry. Alright, so. One of the first bags that I found, or not one of the first bags that I found, this is more towards the end of the month, but it's this really cute Mickey Mouse bag. Now this is like um, from Disney Paris, and it still has the tag attached, it's brand new, it's like never been used. Really cute, really clean, and this was only like $2.99, so such an awesome bag. So cute. Then um, the next item is... This coach tote. Now this one's really, really great. I was super excited to find this bag. Now if you guys um, remember this bag, I actually did a handbag rehab for it. And it had like that, it had like a scratch on the back that was like really like, it wasn't horrible, but it was like one of the only like things wrong with the bag. And usually for this type of leather, like it's really hard to get rid of, but we figured it out. So if you guys want to see that video for how to remove um, scratches at least for black leather for um, a Safiano type leather check it out I'll have it linked in the little eye right here just click on it and I'll have it down in the description box below as well so this was such an awesome find I was super excited to find that now um, the next fa uh, item that I have here is this Longchamp Le Pliage this is the medium size I believe now this one we repaired the bottoms and I'll have the link for that as well, but this was just an awesome find as well. It was only a couple dollars, and it's an authentic longchamp. And then to go with that longchamp, I have a little baby one. It has this little baby bag. Now this one I found at the Goodwill for only a couple dollars. Yeah, $2.99. It was as much as that Mickey Mouse bag. This one's really cute too, except it does have holes in every four corner, or every or each of the four corners of the bag. Um, when I did the repair for the other bag, you guys have told me that I could actually have it sent to Longchamp or bring it to the Longchamp store and they'll have it repaired for free. Looked into it. It's totally true. So if you guys would like to do that, definitely do it. Um, you can only do it once though. So, and they can't do it for all the different sizes of holes. Like if the hole is too big, then sometimes they can't fix it. Um, but I'm like too lazy to bring it to the store. And I don't want to wait like six weeks. And I've heard that some people had to wait three months to get their bags back. Um, I actually think I figured out how they fix it and it's totally doable. So stay tuned for that video. I'm going to fix this one. I'll probably do the same for the other bag even though there's no holes in it. But yeah. Super excited. $2.99. Awesome find. Now let's go on to the coach. I found a couple really nice coach bags this month. Um, one of which... Oh yeah, that other bag was Coach. Well, back to Coach. This bag, this bag was only 10 bucks, and it's in really, really good condition. Like, look at that. $10. And the interior is like, actually really clean. Really, really excited for that. Look at that. So this bag was a really great find. I don't know why it was priced so low. It is authentic. And there were like a ton of other coach bags that were there that were in worse shape than this and they had them like for over $20 so I don't know the person that was pricing this bag probably felt like really nice that day or something I don't know but super excited for that the next item I have here to show you is this beautiful beautiful vintage coach briefcase this is such a stunning piece and I'm so glad it actually came with a like, crossbody strap because a lot of times the crossbody straps are like missing. And this bag is in such great condition. Looks like it just needs a little um, TLC. I'll definitely do a handbag rehab for this. I got this bag for $30 and like the interior is so clean, so nice. And this is vintage made in USA. So like the, the vintage USA coach bags are so so amazing the leather is just so supple so soft so 
everything. Like, they give me life, and I'm just so excited that I found this piece. Especially because I've been wanting another messenger type bag, and I think this feels that prerequisite for, like, that style and shape. And I just love, love, love this bag, and I'm just so excited. Then the next bag that I found is this Coach. It's, like, kind of like a hobo. Now, this um, bag is really, really nice because it has an interior zipper. So it closes, which is nice, and then like the inside is just like a big open compartment, and there's um, like three, the zipper compartment, two open compartments, and it has a little dongle for your keychain. Um, this bag was only $25, I believe, but if you look closely at the bag, you can actually really see it really well. Do you see like it has like kind of like those brown-ish kind of marks? Now that is either someone tried to color in the bag with a sharpie, which um, this will happen, or they try to like color it in with, I don't know, something else. But they did try to color it in. Um, I do know how to fix it. Just gonna, um, and I'll actually do a video for this too. There's a handbag we have for this. So I'll show you guys how to fix up a bag like this. Like if you find one like this at the store and everything else is like in still like in perfect condition and like, Someone just like kind of messed it up by using like, a sharpie on it, like you can see. And this is probably because they carry it like this, and the leather color probably has like discolored or something, and they're trying to color it up. And honestly, if you're not in like direct sunlight like this, you probably won't even notice. But um, yeah, especially if your hands over it like this while you're carrying it outside or something, you're never gonna really tell. But. We're going to fix this up and then make it look brand new. The inside is just in such amazing condition. The hardware is still really great. And everything is like really nice still about this bag. So it's like, yeah. This is going to be really fun to fix. And it's going to come out looking really, really good. And then the last item that I'm going to show you guys. Sorry this video is so long. I'm trying to go really fast. Um, is this coach bag. Now this one I was so, so, so excited to find. Um, this bag is just like so so beautiful it has a crossbody like a longer sh like crossbody shoulder strap and then it has this shorter top handle so you can carry it in the crook of your arm you can even probably manage to carry it like this if you have like a small enough arm like unlike me <laughs> but this bag is just so beautiful the interior just opens up into like this nice compartment zipper two pockets um, it kind of reminds me of like the single flap Chanel that's like kind of like the look that it has. I think it's really cool. There's just a couple pen marks on the inside, but that's not really a big deal. Other than that, the leather is really, really nice. Could just use a little leather conditioner, clean it up and condition it up really well. But it still has a little dongle. It still has a crossbody strap. And I think this bag is like stunning. There's also a little pocket, a zippered pocket in the back, which is really nice. And then it just says, um, coach on the back. They're really pretty in the gold. So, super excited. The, the, there is, like, the hardware is just, like, a little bit, um, scuffed. And that's fine. Like, it kind of gives it, like, more character. Especially since, kind of, all the hardware is starting to do that a little bit. Like, it kind of, like, just looks more antique. So, it totally goes with the look of the bag. And I just think this is such a stunning silhouette. And a timeless silhouette. And the color of this bag is so amazing. And I'm so happy I don't have to fix the color or anything. It just needs a good um, conditioning and cleaning. So, so stay tuned for a lot of handbag rehabs. I'm going to have a couple to show you guys from these bags that I have here. So I'm super, super excited. Stay tuned for that. So you guys, make sure to subscribe if you guys are interested in seeing that or seeing more thrift videos, haul videos, and DIYs. And thank you guys again so, so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments below what your favorite item was that I found. Um, I think my favorite items... I don't know. They're like everything. I just love everything in this haul, which is why I picked them. But... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really had to like narrow it down. Like I have like a giant pile of stuff right there behind like in front of me that I didn't even show you guys. But this is like the cream of the crop, which is, this is what I think are like my coolest finds for the month. So I'm super duper excited to share this with you guys. And let me know in the comments below too what your best thrift finds were for the month as well. And I'd love to hear from you guys and I love you guys so so much. Thank you guys again so so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow. Love you. Bye redone and brought back to life and I'm just like so like
obsessed with them. And today, the bag that I have for you is a coach bag. Now this is a, um, like a fabric coach. You can see it has like the classic monogram and with the black leather, black handles. The handles are like really dry. They definitely need to be um, reconditioned. And this fabric actually